What's good my BBs? It's Beast here today and I am playing um, Pokemon Uranium as you can see. And I've heard a lot about this game. Like when I say a lot, I mean like a lot, a lot. Like people have told me lots of good things. So I have pretty high expectations. I don't know if that's good or not, but that's just how the fuck it is. Take it or leave it. I might seem a little bit irritated at the moment because I've had to record this like three times now counting this one and there was some trouble with my recording software and the audio was all fucked up and it was just a bunch of bullshit but luckily my amazing lady helped me through it and she actually was the one who fixed it so thank god for her and for me not feeling the need to rip my hair out because I was going to Yes, I know, I know all of this about the Nuzlocke, and just in case you're watching this and you don't, basically what a Nuzlocke is, you catch the first Pokemon you see on every route. If you run from it, if you kill it, if it runs from you, if it kills itself, you cannot catch another. Um, if a Pokemon faints, it's considered dead, it gets thrown in the PC, never to be used again. Uh, and this isn't really a rule, but like, it... It sort of is you have to give each Pokemon a nickname as you go along because it helps strengthen their bonds so yes I want to play on this mode I'm keeping the dupes clause because as you can see if you if you can't read it fast enough just pause the video I'll just try to go as slow as possible so that y'all can get enough time to be able to pause and read what it says all right, so I think this is the professor. I know it is actually because I've done this three times now. <laughs> so he's going to have a very lazy voice because he looks like a pretty chill, laid back guy. So, <clears throat> um, mm, huh? who is it? Oh, hello there. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Uh, oh, my name is Bambo. Uh, but if you find that hard to pronounce, you can just call me the Pokemon Professor, I guess. Uh, I think I'm gonna just call you Professor because your name is... I don't know, it's a fucking train wreck, my dude. You're the kid who's applying for a job, right? Great, great, just awesome. You want the lowdown on what you'll be doing? Nah, bruh, I, I, I'm good. I know what the fuck I'm doing. What the fuck is that thing? We humans share this world with creatures known as Pokemon. More than mere animals, Pokemon possess astonishing powers and remarkable intelligence. People and Pokemon coexist in many ways. Some Pokemon are kept as pets, others help us with work, and others are used in battle by trainers such as yourself. I know this already, bruh. But there's still so much we don't know about Pokemon. That's my job, I study Pokemon for a living. Specifically, I'm an expert on Pokemon elements. Every Pokemon has an element type, and each type has its own strengths and weaknesses. But why do they exist? Are there new types we haven't discovered yet? Ah, but I'll let you, I'll tell you more at your first day on the job. Report to my lab tomorrow to get your first Pokemon. Now if you just fill out this form here. Yeah, give me that shit. Uh, okay. This, this is obviously for the, um, transgender folks. And I, I like that. I like that the creators of the game didn't make it just like male and female. Because what if you don't want to identify, you know? But I personally like to identify. So I'm going to go with a male. And I need the fucking keyboard. Oh, by the way, my controller is glowing green to match uranium and like the layout. I know it's, it's just beautiful. Congratulate me in the comments. Please. I deserve it. Um, oh, and also my girlfriend deserves it as well. So can you like thumbs this up like 3,000 times for her please that'd be great shit um I'm just gonna go with my regular name 
that I put on every Pokemon game, which is Celis with a capital S at the end. I know it's not the name that I use for YouTube, but it's it's basically what you're going to refer to me as if you're going to refer to me as anything besides Beast. Yes, my name is Celis. Celis, are you ready? Your journey, your story is about to unfold. The future is a blank slate you, together with your Pokemon, are going to fill it. There will be challenges and thrills you're bound to make exciting discoveries. Let's go. Finally. Oh shit. Ten years ago, Celis' family lived in Beale Beach City. Hey, hold up. Okay. I fucks with it. <laughs> I fucks with this. They, oh. oh. Okay, okay, they, okay. Yeah, okay. Anyway. Celis' family lived in Beale Beach City, the largest city in Tandor. Their father, Kellen, was a brave and talented Pokemon Ranger. Their mother, Lucille, was a brilliant scientist and expert on nuclear energy. Is there a reason my dad's name is Kellen? I just thought that I'd throw that question out there. Although they both worked demanding jobs, they always found time to spend at home with young sellers. That's what's up. The Tandor region was at peace and Lucille's company was working on a form of clean energy that would change the world. The future seemed bright until... <gasps> oh my god. It was an ordinary day at the nuclear power plant where Lucille worked. As a part of routine inspection, they brought a, a scientist to take a look at the electrical system. Okay, so for Lucille's voice, she's gonna have like this squeaky voice. Cameron! Did you finish your diagnostics? Oh my god, I can't, like... My, uh, my voice is so low, it's hard to do high-pitched voices. Yes, I have. Everything seems to be working perfectly. As you can tell, this is Cameron's voice. This generator you designed really does its job well, Lucille. Excellent. If everybody finished their work, we'll break for lunch. Uh, boss, you might want to take a look at this. Hmm, strange. The temperature readings are fire higher than normal. Either we need to reset the thermometer or the reactor is leaking a massive amount of heat. It can't be the thermometer. I just checked that. The fuck? So? <gasps> what is that noise? Oh my god. There must be a breach in the reactor. At this temperature, in just a few minutes, we'll have a total meltdown. Oh my god! Everybody evacuate now! Run! Run, bitches, run! Lucille, you have to leave too! No, bitch, I'm staying! Lucille! <coughs> <coughs> With Cameron's help, all the scientists were able to escape unscathed, except Lucille. She was never seen again after that day. The radiation leaking from the broken reactor made the surrounding area uninhabitable for many years foiling any attempt to try and search for her. The loss of his wife had a profound effect on Kellen. His personality changed, he became cold and dedicated to his job. In time, he got promoted to the chief of the Tandor Pokemon Rangers. However, he became too busy to care for his child, so young Celis was sent to live with their elderly auntie in Mokitown. Ten years passed yet again. Auntie's health waned. Supporting a child was too much for her. Unfortunately, Ernest bam the local Pokemon professor, was looking for a research assistant. Two kids from Mokitown applied, Celis and their childhood friend, Theo. It was common for youths of a certain age to receive a Pokemon and travel through the region as a Pokemon trainer. And so, Celis' journey began. Yeah! Celis, come downstairs, you are late! Okay, Auntie. What's up, what's up? Celis, sweetie, today is your big day, isn't it? I can't help but feel glum seeing my little one all grown up and leaving home. Oh, if only these old bones could do more so that I could support us both. We both know that you're ready for this, though. You and that boy, Theo. Always following in your footsteps, that one. You've always been so capable. But I wonder about him. He is younger, after all. <sighs> I'm sure his father Cameron wouldn't allow him to go unless he was sure. Anyway, to celebrate your big day, I got you a present. Go ahead and open it. 
Oh shit, bitch. Now I can run indoors even though it's rude. <laughs> oh, oh, don't remind me, sweetie. I'm just an emotional old lady. If only your father were here right now, I'm pretty sure he's proud of you too. And I'm positive you're well into him during your adventure. <laughs> now I shouldn't keep you any longer. Say hi to that nice professor man for me, will you? And if you don't mind stepping by again after you get your first Pokemon, I'd love to see it. Good luck, sweetie. I don't know about how I feel about my grandma wanting me to tell the professor she said hi. I don't know about that. Yo, my dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you doing? Oh, I appreciate you for that. Thank you. Let me just um, run up here. I'm pretty sure this is it, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, and this motherfucker. Uh, let me give him one of these fucking annoying ass kid voices. Where do you think you're going, huh? You trying to get to the lab before me so you can get a better Pokemon? Well, that ain't gonna happen because I'm the strongest one first. Wait, what? I'm gonna get the strongest one first? I don't know what. The, I read too fast, I'm sorry. Try to keep up, Silas. I'm, I'm trying to. As you can see, I am fucking failing. Damn, this is some nice classical ass music. Maybe I should have gave Bamba all like a classical voice. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm gonna change his voice. Cause I feel like he needs classical. That would be like that would be way better. Um <laughs> Hey, if it isn't Celis and uh your friend, Tommy, was it? Honestly, Pops, you can't even remember my name. It's Theo. Theo! Oh, right, right, Theo. You're just in time. Every day is a special... Oh, fuck. <laughs> Today is a special day for the both of you. It's your first day to work as a field research assistant at BAMP O Pokemon Research Labs. Your job will have you traveling across Tando, observing and capturing many different kinds of Pokemon to help me with my research on Pokemon elements. I have three Pokemon here that will aid you on your journey. Before you get your starters though, you will You will both take the app the Pokemon Trainer Aptitude Test. Shit, that was so hard to say. Test? I didn't study for Oh fuck, that is not him! Test? I didn't study for any test! I thought you were gonna give us a rare powerful Pokemon. Now now don't worry, it's not the kind of test you have to study for, you dumb twat. It's just an easy way to determine what kind of Pokemon trainer you'll be. Different starter Pokemon are better suited for different battling styles. Fuck. A starter Pokemon will be your lifelong partner. It's important you work well with it together. I, I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh, I gotta cut that out. Well, um... Yeah, yeah, I get it. Enough talking. I just want my Pokemon. Sheesh, kid, you're, you're not very patient, are you? Alright. If you want to know more about what's going on... To, what? Oh. If you want to know more about what's on the test, before we begin, you can talk to my aide. Now, Celis, are you ready to take the Pokemon Trainer Aptitude Test? Yes, Jesus. Excellent. Without further ado, when you encounter a new kind of Pokemon in the wild, what's your first reaction? Attack that bitch, duh. Very good, both of you. Come on, that wasn't easy. Ah, uh, fuck. Come on, that was easy. Give me a tougher one. I cannot read. <laughs> um, fuck, what was his voice again? Okay, next question then. Which of these tiers would you prefer to teach a Pokemon? Well, I don't like Protect because it's annoying when people spam that, and Hidden Power is like, you don't only, you'd only do that if you want to throw a bitch off. I personally just prefer to fuck your shit up, so Hyper Beam is, is what I'm gonna go with. Hey Professor, what's a TM anyway? Um, I'll tell you later. Let's move on with the next question, shall we? Which of the following Pokemon will win an all-out battle? Uh, Gyarados, boy, fuck out of here. Is it possible to fail this test? No, it isn't. Now, this is your final question, so answer it honestly. What is your motivation for becoming a Pokemon trainer? I want to be the very best. No question about it. I'm going to be a Pokemon master and nobody's going to stand in my way. <coughs> Except me. <laughs> That's the spirit. Oh, fuck. I dig your spirit, kid. 
Well, that's it for the Pokemon Trainer Aptitude Test. Now it's time to analyze your results. Hmm. Ah, ah, yes, I finished my analysis. <sighs> ah, you smell like strawberries. Zealous. You seem to be a trainer who won't hesitate to go for what you want. You prefer to overwhelm your opponents with sheer force and firepower. The saying, the best defense is good offense is probably your mantra. You have a burning spirit within you that never ceases. For an offensive trainer like you, Rap Torch is the best pick. Okay, so the reason I didn't react while I was like voicing him, because I already fucking knew that Rap Torch was gonna be the Pokemon that I got because I don't know if I said this already, but I did this like three times. Just just throw the Pokemon. Um I'm gonna give him the same name that I gave him every time. Oh god, not Pyro Dino. What the fuck? Dino. Yeah, Pyro Dino. Hey, I'm tired of waiting! Zelda's got their starter already. When do I get mine? Oh uh, shit, I skipped his text. And y'all can pause and read it. I'm sorry. It's, that's really professional. Um Theo, um, well, you certainly know what you want out of life. You're impulsive and patient and carely mostly about your own desires. But I see something else in you. Could it be the seed of greatness? Could it be the potential to transform yourself completely? Or maybe it's just that you're so young. I can't even tell anymore. Regardless, for a trainer like you, for chance is the best pick. Ha, he got the grass started. <laughs> you know what that means. You about to get pwned, bitch. Yes, my first Pokemon! Celis, you have a Pokemon. And now I have a Pokemon, too. You know what that means, right? We have to battle! Oh, no, please not in the lab. Sorry, bro. He threw his shit at me. I, I, what am I supposed to do? Just sit there and look at it? No. Yeah, bring it on, bitch, with your ugly ass cat. I don't know, like, um. Personally, I'm not really a cat person. I mean, I don't mind them, you know? They're they're cute when they when they want to be, but they're dicks, you know? They they're real like antisocial dicks. But then again, that's me. I don't know. Shit. You decide. Tell me in the comments. You a dog person? Cat person? Shit. Bird person? Fish person? Fucking ant person? I don't know. But, but how? How? I'm supposed to be the best trainer ever. That's impossible. Can trainers never lose? I. I. Ooh. Yeah, that's how you sound for me, guys. Please don't cry, Theo. Here, I heal your Pokemon for ya. Oh, why thank you, good sir. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was just gonna disappear. I, I wanted to be an un unbeatable trainer. How come I could have win? I really, really wanted to win. Well, between your starters and Celis's, this has the type advantage. Water beats fire, fire beats grass, and grass beats water. That's the elemental type triangle. At least one of them at any rate. Learning to master your type matchups is an important part of being a trainer. No way. I want to do over. How come Celis gets the better starter? Oh, it is a fair. I'm going home. All right, little bitch. See you later. He took that harder than I hoped. But uh, you shouldn't be so quick to judge him. He is just a kid after all. Uh, I expect he'll soon discover that training Pokemon isn't as easy as he imagined. I'm going out to the entrance, uh, Route 1, by the edge of town. Bring Theo and I'll teach you both how to catch Pokemon. See you later, Silas. Peace, my guy. Uh, yo, what's 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 up? You researching a new kind of Pokemon potion right now? Okay, that's nice. I didn't really care. I just wanted to see if you could give me an item. Are you gonna give me one? No, no. All right. You? Uh, 
Oh yeah. Oh no. Did y'all read what that bitch just said? That's nasty. That's nasty. Y'all know what that means. If if you 18 and up, you know. Wink. Uh oh shit, I didn't bring Theo. I gotta go get Theo. Theo! Wait a second, he's not he don't live up here. Doesn't he live down here? Yeah, he live over here. Nigga, move your big ass head. Damn. Can't even walk past your big old bean head ass. What did you say to my son? He ran upstairs crying and locked the door behind him. He won't even tell me what's wrong or come downstairs. I swear if you did anything to hurt him. Huh? Oh. Oh, re oh really? Oh, okay. So that's how it is. So he, he got the weaker starter and you beat him in battle? Mm -hmm. I see. That explains it all then. A harsh lesson to be sure, but losing is as much part of being his Pokemon trainer as winning and I fuck that up. Um, he had his heart set on the day being perfect, and so losing right off the bat is somewhat of a shock. I can understand. Still, crying won't solve anything. That's something he has to learn. Theo, come downstairs right now, young man. I am very upset with you. Disappointed. You have fiery hair. Don't be a little bitch. You can't cry every time you lose in battle. That's just part of being a trainer. But it isn't fair. So it's got the better starter than me. No, I'm never gonna win. Then you'll have to catch more Pokemon to balance out your team's weaknesses, you fucking twat. Besides, a well-raised Pokemon can still win even at a disadvantage. There's no sense in giving up before you even begin. <laughs> yes, Dad. Well, uh, now, Theo, I won't always be around to pick you up when you're feeling down. Hey, bars? So try to be strong for yourself, okay? Celis, please be patient with my son. He looks up to you, you know. Uh, oh, I nearly forgot, Celis. Theo, I have something for the both of you. L like a present? Yes, exactly. A present. Celis, your father, Kellen, sent me these and told me to give them to you both when you began your journeys. I'm sure it will come in useful. What? Now that was not me. That, that, as you can see, is typed there. I didn't fuck that one up. A Pokepod? What's that? It's a high-tech device that's indispensable for Pokemon trainers. It plays music and includes a map of the region. Most importantly, it contains a phone that will allow you to stay in touch with each other and other trainers. Cool! <laughs> I got the red one. It's cooler than yours. I'm gonna go meet the professor by the age of town, and I'll be the first to catch a Pokemon. Bye, Dad. Keep up, Celtics. <laughs> well, talk about a dramatic turnaround. He always bounces back quickly. <sighs> Celis, you don't want to keep the professor waiting. You should get moving, too. I don't want to see you and Theo for some time. You see, I'm starting a new job soon. I'm supervising the construction of a new power plant, Epsilon. Perhaps I'll see you there in time. After all, it's the last place Lucille has ever seen. Best of luck on your journey. Damn, you just gonna drop my mama's name like that? She been missing for like 10 years? You just gonna drop her name right in front of me? Okay. Hey, hey, hey. I'm not gonna be mad, but I'm a little mad. Does this nigga got a rod for me? You give me an O rod? No? Okay. Whatever. Thought I was gonna be able to get some encounters. I guess the fuck not. Hey there, Celis. Now that you and Theo are here, it's time to begin your first lesson as a Pokemon trainer and field research aid. Now watch closely. Wild Pokemon, as you probably already know, inhabit tall grass, but that's not the only place. You can also find them in caves and water and even cities if you know where to look. Still, tall grass is going to be your best bet for finding new Pokemon. Simply take a few steps in and... Oh god. <laughs> is that <it> what? <laughs> Look, it's a wild chin monk. They're very common around here. It hasn't noticed me yet. Now's my chance. Go, Alatox. Creep up on him and tackle him in the ass. 
I think he's taking a shine to me. And uh, this is the other starter you could have gotten. But I rather like him, so I'm gonna keep him. Now, the next step is to weaken the enemy Pokemon to make it easier to catch. Elitux, you tackle like I told you. Now that it's weakened, now's my chance to catch it. Pokemon Go! And that's how it's done. Now, Chinmunk are fairly easy, but you'll sure to encounter Pokemon that are a lot harder to catch. For those, you might need to inflict them with status effects or use a special Pokemon. Ah, but I'm sure you'll get the hang of it before too long. Celesteo, these are for you. Hey, I got a Pokedex. Give me that shit. No way. Give it to me. Pokedex is a high-tech encyclopedia that automatically records the data of any Pokemon you see and or catch. It's very important for my research, so make sure to fill it out as much as possible. Also, I want you to have these. Because I've played Pokemon so much, I knew what he said during that line that I skipped. I don't know if anybody else would have been able to catch the fact that I didn't read that. But if you did, let me know in the comments. And just like type in all caps, right? Read, dumbass, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't I don't read. I don't read. Sorry, I just don't. Pokeballs are necessary for catching Pokemon, of course. What's that thing the kids always say? I'm, I'm gonna catch them all day. There we go. That's it. If you run out, you can pick up some more at any Pokemon. But Moki Town doesn't have one of those. There's one in Kevlar Town on the other side of Route 1. So, with that said, your lesson is now over. But you two have Pokepots, don't you? <laughs> Let me put my number in there so I can call you with some annoying shit later. I don't know if that's gonna happen, but I'm, I'm just assuming because, you know, the homie Professor Elm, if you know him, he's known for that bullshit. But, um... <clears throat> You can give me a call anytime and I'll take a look at how your Pokedex is coming along. And if you do a good job at collecting many different kinds of Pokemon, I might even have special rewards for you. With that said, I'm going back to my lab. Best of luck on your journeys, both of you. And no, you cannot get my last starter. I would have been the one to ask that. Like, uh, no one else got that one. Can I get it? Like, you're not going to lose it, dude. You just sit in a lab all day. Zealous, I don't care that you got the stronger starter. I'm still gonna be the best trainer ever. I'll catch tons of Pokemon. We'll win everybody. You just wait and see. I... I don't know what the fuck my lips were doing just then. But, um... I got my Pokeballs. So the lock has started. And... Time for my never-ending stress to begin! Now, before I end this episode, which I will be doing soon, I'm gonna go ahead and get my first encounter. Hopefully it doesn't take so long to find like it normally fucking does. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Come on. Aw, oh, damn. I can't name this one the same thing I named the one from the first few tries of recording this. Because it's a girl, so if I name it Slick, it'd be kind of weird. I think I'm gonna name it Becky. What the fuck, Becky? Stop. Gosh. Getting this fucking ball. That look like the black and white fucking menu. That's the ball animation from black and white, too. Yeah, bitch. As you can see in my face. I had no doubt that that bitch was going in my pocket. Oh god, I need the keyboard. Again. This is gonna be annoying. I need one of those keyboard attachments for my controller. I wonder what that work on. Uh, what am I naming you? Becky. And that. Oh gosh. Yes, give me that level up. Um. So what I'll end up doing is I'll probably just end up training these two till probably like level 8 to 10-ish and then I'll go and proceed um, <clears throat> once I'm done 
and I'm pretty sure you can't load cheats into this game but just so you guys know that I don't I will be doing a grinding montage of the levels so that you just see that well I don't really think I need to because it's only five levels yeah I don't I don't need to make a grinding montage I'll just start it off when I'm done you guys will just have to take my word for it because I don't really see why I would have a whole two minutes dedicated to me training just five levels for each month which would be two so altogether ten I don't see me making a whole montage for that but um yeah with that being said it was fun while it lasted and 